Hi everyone, welcome back to the All Out Motorsports YouTube channel. I'm your host Alex Bowman and it is finally race week for Cincy Speedway. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be spending this week getting everything ready to go for the first race at Cincy Speedway. So a little bit of an update from last week where we were at. I went ahead and threw the bodies back on, put the seats back on, and have the engines just sitting on here. The 206 is hooked up because I'm about to test that, uh, but the clone is just sitting on here for right now because not a ton of space in here and uh, I just didn't want it sitting on a workbench taking up space, so I just set it back on there for right now. We'll be going through lubing up all the bearings, the chain, all of that good stuff, just making sure everything is perfect for racing at Cincy Speedway. To start us off, I'm going to go ahead and pull out Aries, and we need to test the 206 because it has not been ran yet this year. Okay, as you can tell, uh, it's not wanting to really run. I think there might be an issue with my carb. Uh, I'll try to get it started up one more time and show you guys. Basically what it's doing is uh, it's idling, but a lot of white smoke's coming out. I think that means there's too much fuel going in. And then uh, when it stalls, just a ton of fuel just dumps out of here. You can see it all piled up on the ground and stuff there. I'm going to see if I can get it fired up one more time and kind of show you guys what's happening there. Yeah, so I have no idea what's going on with that. I'm going to have to... Uh, Talk to my engine builder and figure that one out. So, okay, that was actually ended up being pretty simple. I think this hose that drains the carburetor had a clog in it. So I blew in it and it started working. <laughs> so uh, yeah, honestly, this thing sounds a whole lot rowdier than I remember. Uh, I'm not sure why it's backfiring. That might be because I don't have the air filter on it, but yeah, I feel good now. <laughs> so next up on the agenda, we are going to be getting Aries completely ready to go. So what that entails is I just threw a five pound puck of lead on here. Pretty simple. It's just a bolt that goes through and that's it. You gotta make sure it's either double nutted or you got a clip on the end here. Then I need to uh, clean and lube all the bearings, which only should take me a few minutes. And then I need to pull the 206 back off of here and change the sprocket on or not the sprocket change the drive gear on the clutch and then the sprocket here in the back and then clean and lube up the clutch and looking at my list that's all that needs to be done so getting areas knocked out should be pretty quick uh going to this new track i have no idea what to start off with for the gear ratio so i'm going to come over here to my computer and look at where I was at for uh, Waynesfield Raceway Park last year for the Race of Champions. Same size track. I think Cincy Speedway is going to have a little bit longer straightaways and tighter corners. Not entirely sure, but 
I'm going to start off the same as Wayne's Field, just because it's the same size, and we will adjust from there. So for the 206, uh, yeah, that's what I'll start off with, and then I'll have to figure out what to do for the clone as well with having that different uh, rear sprocket on there, or that different type of rear sprocket. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and get that knocked out. All right, so we got the sprocket changed on the axle we got the drive gear changed and the engine is all hooked back up i still have to clean the chain so the chain isn't on yet but we got the uh two vent lines on throttle cable hooked up fuel line hooked up uh tack lead hooked up that's all ready to go uh i also just lubed up this front bearing here so it spins all nice and smooth and uh so we're gonna come over and do this side and it's really pretty simple to do, so I'm going to walk you guys through how to do that real quick. Set these off real quick. Set them aside. And then this whole hub just pulls right off if I stop throwing things around. And first off, I like to just wipe down the shaft, clean off this washer. And then... Uh, Kind of take everything apart and bearing cover, bearing cover, and then the bearings just pull right out of the ends. Sometimes if you don't pull them straight out, they get a little stuck and like that just pulls right out. Little centerpiece. And other bearing comes out. So once you got the bearings out, I just take carb cleaner in the bearing and just spray it in there let it spin around flip it over do it the other way give it a good put it on my finger give it a good few spins make sure everything kind of falls out that's in there doesn't really get super dust dirty in here just some dust stick it back on there take the centerpiece if it's got any residual anything on it, just wipe it off. Stick that back on. Oh shoot. Forgot. Very first thing before the bearing is the dust cover. So just wipe that off on a reg. Stick it on. Bearing. Centerpiece. Then you get to the hub. Just kind of Wipe it down, get any old oil off of it, anything like that. All nice and clean. Stick it back on there, give it a good spin, make sure everything's working good. And then I like to go ahead and wipe off the other bearing cover and the other washer just so those are ready to go. And then same thing with this bearing, just spray some carb cleaner through it give it a nice good spin and then before you put that in we got to put some tri-flow in it so I the one bearings already in here doesn't have any yet so I give this a good spin stick this all the way back in there Give it a nice little squirt while it's still spinning. Stick this one in, give it another spin. Spray that one. And then leave it spinning so I can work in there nicely. Put that cover on. I like to keep it spinning the whole time I'm doing this. Put the other washer on. And put the wheel nut back on. And then when I am doing the wheel nut, what I'll do is uh, I'll take it and so as you're putting it on, you'll tighten it and you see like right there, you can't put, put it in there and it's too tight there. You can feel it slowing, like adding resistance. So I'll back it off. So do hand tight and then back one and then put the pin in it. And then I give it a little shake, make sure there's not a lot of play or anything. A tiny bit's okay, but you don't want a lot. 
give it a final spin, make sure it looks all balanced and everything. And just like that, Aries is all ready to go. Well, other than the fact that it's missing the body right now. Other than that, it's completely ready to go. The reason the body's not on it is because I got a fiberglass repair kit, mostly to help out with uh, fixing this from my crash. Moving on, we are going to get working on Nike. Basically Nike, same thing as uh, I just did on Aries. Have to lube the bearings and the chain and uh, add a five pound puck on because the weight class for Cincy Speedway is 380, whereas uh, at Caesars Creek it was 375. So I need to add five pounds on, which isn't a big deal. Uh, yeah, and then this one will be ready to go as well. And just like that, Nike is also finished and ready to go. Just minus the body, because fiberglass. Um, got everything all ready to go. Got the clone engine on here. And then I went ahead and started the fiberglass process. Uh, this was the big old crack. Now it's uh, wet fiberglass epoxy it was pretty easy basically just had to take this stuff and the epoxy that came in the kit mix it slap that on there throw epoxy on it and that was it then come over to this body and just kind of covered up the holes in there and uh we'll find out tomorrow how well this actually did so next up on the agenda we are going to be resurfacing tires as you can tell by my nice fancy apron. Got same ones to do as always. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long to do. I found out uh, after last time I did it, I was using uh, two cores of a sandpaper. So we have some finer sandpaper to use and that should uh, be why I was running into that um, issue with them not looking quite as smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and throw you guys into a short time lapse to show me doing some of my tires. looking fantastic look at that hopefully the lighting's okay you can see oh my gosh this is, I'm sure this is just a race car driver thing but like there's nothing better looking than freshly resurfaced tires it looks good <laughs> me on the other hand I am all covered in rubber and yeah <laughs> so uh i gotta go jump in the shower before i spread this rubber everywhere um i should actually probably clean up this mess first like all this rubber that's all that's all new uh yeah as you can see it makes quite quite a mess when you are resurfacing tires um but then you end up with these beautiful looking things here so uh yeah well we have another change of plans for this weekend so i went inside took a shower got all the rubber cleaned off ate dinner and uh right before i came back out found out that a cincy speedway again has canceled for this weekend they changed it into just a practice day uh so yeah so now we're going to be going down to uh clay city cartway down in central kentucky so I need to now thrash to get everything ready for that. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Um, with Nike, uh, the only thing I'm going to have to change is the gear ratio. So that won't be too bad. Um, but then over here on Aries, I'll have to switch back to the clone engine. And then of course switch uh, switch the gearing and everything, and then take that weight puck off. So not too big of a deal. 
just kind of a pain because I was really looking forward to racing at Cincy Speedway because that's where all my friends and everything race, and I kind of like the local racing, but, you know, it is what it is. Everything has now been switched over on Ares to where I need it for this weekend. Got the clone set up, and as you saw, I got it fired up and tested. Took the weight off. All I need to do is put the gear on there once I figure out which gear I want to run, and that is ready to go. Coming over to Nike, that was the easier one to get switched from Cincy to Clay City. And, uh, yeah, all I need to do for this one is uh, the gearing as well, and this one will be good to go also. However, I do need to finish up fixing this. So what I'm going to do is uh, start off by kind of sanding this down so it's a little bit flatter, and then I'll, prob I'll probably going to put some epoxy on this side of it and then take some vinyl and cover it up. Got that all taken care of. If I do say so myself, it looks pretty good. I'm happy with how smooth it is. Um, once this cures, which uh, be like 24 hours or so, I'm going to take some of that uh, pink vinyl I have over there and make a patch that kind of goes from like here up along like this and probably back over this way um, just to kind of cover that spot up. But you guys won't be able to see that because uh, by the time I get around to doing that, this video will already be out. So you'll be able to see that uh, beginning of the next video. All I have left to do... Hold on, let me turn my light on. All I really have left to do is uh, surfacing my tires. Or not surfacing, I already did that. I did that earlier today. That was one of the th three reasons I had to take a shower today. Um sizing my tires so I need to go through and measure all of them and get that all put into my computer I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out tonight but I'm not gonna worry about showing you guys that because you've seen me do that before so I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here um, yeah everything is all ready to go for Caesars Creek or not I'm all confused these places need to stop changing their dates around Everything's ready to go for Clay City this weekend. Uh, it's like Central Kentucky, Louisville, Lexington, something like that, I think. Um, yeah, Clay City this weekend for the, I believe it's called like the Burris Pro Series or something. So we'll be racing there. We'll be racing uh, Clone Medium and Clone Pro Heavy. And uh, hopefully we can uh, learn some more, do some good. So with that, remember to like and subscribe, leave any comments down below, and pecker up, hammer down.